Good morning. We're starting out with some clouds in Springfield and cold temperatures. It's 31 degrees on some light winds. We have some patchy fog. It's four miles visibility in Springfield and three in Branson. We also have this line of snow showers setting up just to the south of Springfield where a dusting of snow is possible from Monette uh, down towards uh, Cassville, Galena, Nixa, Rogersville, Marshfield. All seeing some of these uh, radar returns where we're getting some either snow flurries or maybe a light snow shower. You could get a little bit of a dusting of snow on the roads down there because those temperatures are just at or just below freezing. So what you'll need to keep an eye out for is some light icing or some light snow accumulations possible where you're getting that band. Any accumulations would probably be, probably be on the cooler elevated surfaces like the bridges and overpasses. We stay cloudy through this missile with that temperature at 37 degrees, so pretty dreary gray day and very cold. Temperatures uh, below average in the upper 30s. Mostly cloudy tonight with temperatures around 31 degrees and then by tomorrow, mostly cloudy with those temperatures in the middle 40s. That's closer to average by Super Bowl Sunday. We're going 20 degrees above average for temperatures. 66 on Sunday with sunshine. It's going to be very warm down in Miami where the Chiefs are actually playing at Hard Rock Stadium. They're looking at temperatures closer to 70 degrees with sunshine. Things should be dry through the game. So some good weather on the field there for them on Super Bowl Sunday. Joe Lauren. Putting crime into focus for you right now. Springfield police are still looking for two people who led police on a short chase last night. An officer recognized the driver who's known for stealing cars. The vehicle wouldn't pull over, then crashed on the curb at Eagle and Nichols. Two people inside ran off. Officers never found them, but they did find a handgun. Again, the search for those two is still on. In your education news, students in Ozark likely won't have to make up any snow days next year because the school board recently approved a longer school day. 15 extra minutes will be added to every day, according to the Springfield News Leader. Changes to state law require schools to be in session a minimum number of hours, not days, giving districts more flexibility. The new start times will be 7.30 for middle school, 7.35 for junior high, 7.45 for high school, and then 8.30 coming in the latest for those elementary kids. Ozark schools also start a little later this fall. Starting this year, Missouri schools cannot begin class more than 10 days before Labor Day, which falls on August 24th. Also happening in your medical news, some positive news in the battle to keep patients off opioids. Mo HealthNet, Missouri's Medicaid program, is seeing a sharp drop in the number of patients prescribed opioids. Prescriptions for those medicines are down about 36 percent since 2012. Officials say better prescribing practices, more treatment options, and alternative therapies are part of the reason for the lower numbers. Missouri has received a mostly failing grade on tobacco control, according to a new report from the American Lung Association. In that report, the organization says tobacco use is the leading cause of preventable deaths in Missouri. The state is making changes, though, as it did pass laws last year to increase the tobacco purchasing age to 21 in certain areas. Governor Parson also started an anti-vaping campaign, but the Lung Association says that's not enough, and it says the air quality overall is bad and filled with smoke. In northwest Arkansas, there is a higher spike in certain type of flu cases. According to Dr. Robert Williams, at Arkansas's Children's Northwest. He says flu B strain is more prevalent this year than the A strain. Flu B has added symptoms like stomach issues and vomiting. Seniors and young children are considered most vulnerable. I would expect though that we'll see more flu uh, again. We have a little bit of a dip right now, but it'll spike back up again before the season's over almost certainly. It typically does. If you think you have the flu, Dr. Williams encourages you to stay hydrated and control your fever with over-the-counter medicine like Tylenol or Motrin. In some political coverage, a bill aimed at protecting the rights of religious student groups at public university, universities has sparked debate at the Capitol. State Rep Hannah Kelly says her legislation would prevent schools from denying religious student associations the same benefits as other associations at those public universities. Opponents told the House Committee they believe the legislation would lead to discrimination. My intent in presenting this bill is strictly based on the constitutional rights of anyone to associate and not have to fear repercussion because there might be someone out there in the universe that might disagree. The point of this bill is to allow Christian organizations to restrict gay people's LGBTQ plus students access to public funds. 
That's what this is about. The chairman of the Special Committee on Career Readiness suggested the language of the bill be changed from religious associations to beliefs in order to broaden protections. Absentee voting has officially begun for Missouri's presidential preference primary in March, which means you're now able to cast your vote for who you'd like to represent you in the presidential race. Absentee voting is a form of early voting for those who can't on the day of the election. While it's currently available, there are stipulations. If you plan on voting absentee, you'll have to indicate why you can't vote the day of the election. Common reasons include medical issues or that you'll be out of the county on election day. Shane Scholler, the Greene County clerk, says the primary is important for people to choose who they'd like to get the presidential nomination. This is a presidential preference primary, so when voters come to vote, um, either absentee or the day of the election, they're going to get to choose the party ballot of their choice, and they can choose from the list of candidates there which candidates they want to represent them in the presidential election this November. This is just one more opportunity to make sure that if you can't be there on the day of the election because you're not here in the county or you have a health issue. The last day to register to vote is February 12th with the presidential preference primary March 10th. If you still need to register, you can find the link to do so in this story on our website, OzarksFirst.com. We talk more local news regarding the Super Bowl. Many businesses are swamped with catering orders to feed fans for that game on Sunday. The Hy-Vee Bakery says they're seeing an increase in requests for Chiefs-themed foods like cupcakes and sheet cakes. As for the main course, places like Buckingham's have been getting an influx of orders as well and expect to sell hundreds of pounds of meats for the Super Bowl. We sell basically a lot of everything, but the wings on the Super Bowl, man, they're they going to go fast. But we sell a lot of burn ends, we sell a lot of ribs too, so they got to get in and get it fast as they can, man. That's all I can say. This week alone, I've probably sold close to almost as much stuff as what I would like for a typical weekend. I mean, I'm thinking we're going to be up probably 30% in sales just, you know, in my department alone. All right, it's Thursday. That game's on Sunday. If you still want to get something, Hy-Vee says it's best to give a 24-hour notice on customized baked goods. Buckingham says the earlier, the better for your orders. They're also planning on cutting off sales around 5 because they got to watch the game as well, everyone. Come on, give them a break. Of course they do. <laughs> Let's take a look now at what's coming up this morning after daybreak. Hello, I'm Gail King coming right up. Hair Love. Have you seen it? It's a film about a dad learning to comb his daughter's hair. It's nominated for an Oscar. The creator comes to Studio 57 coming right up. CBS this morning. All right. What's trending, guys? We're trending. All right. <laughs> We're trending right now. What are we talking about? Watching oh. us on Ozarks Fox on Sunday morning. We're here for daybreak. Starting at 6 a.m. That's right. We'll have one hour of daybreak just on Ozarks Fox. We're breaking down. It's all Super Bowl, guys. It's Chiefs, it's Niners, it's commercials, it's food, right? Recipes that we all made. We I'm so excited. There's a winner, but we can't say who. Uh, <laughs> halftime trivia, right? Because there's a concert in the middle of the thing you call football, right? We've got the halftime show. Boy, oh boy. Jen and I will be quizzing you guys <laughs> on some uh, things about that, too. We are excited. We have a lot of facts coming your way, too. A lot of things oh, you might yeah. not know about the Super Bowl. Yeah. Um, just for instance, you know, people making their bets, prop bets on the Chiefs, of course. Mm -hmm, sure. uh, also, some other things, including uh, statistics. You know, if if the Niners win, they will tie the Steelers and the Patriots for the most Super Bowl wins wow, at really? six. I didn't know that. Miami too is one of. It is actually the most popular destination to host a Super Bowl. It is. Got to be because of that. Nice. Often. Of course. So, <laughs> so that is from six to seven on Ozarks Fox. Then at seven, you got Jeremy and Kelly doing Super Ozarks Fox AM. How do you like that? Lots of stuff jam packed. Yeah. A lot to get to covered. there. One more quick trend that's going on right now is uh, Brexit. It's in. It pops up. It pops up in the news every now and then. It's <laughs> it's going, getting to be officially official here. The UK stops being a member of the EU at 11 p.m. London time on Friday. So they're talking about having little celebrations and things about that. And so uh, it's just a, a holding process for the rest of 2020. But this becomes official Friday night. So people talking about that. We now actually have a deadline and a time. There it is. Yes, very much so. 
So we look now, though, to our weather. Again, we keep saying Sunday will be nice, but we got to get to there, right? Not yet. Uh, cold and cloudy today. Yeah. Temperatures at 37 degrees by dismissal. You might have some snow flurries on your commute this morning as well. We keep some clouds at temperatures in the 40s on Friday. Sunshine all weekend. Temperatures 20 degrees above average on Super Bowl Sunday. All right, everyone. Thank you for starting your Thursday morning off with us here on Daybreak. Of course, more news is always on OzarksFirst.com.